So yesterday I was watching this DJ Academics podcast called Off The Records and he had NLE Chopper on there. And to be honest, I really enjoyed the interview. I didn't expect to like it as much as I would, but NLE, he was like very open about the questions DJ Academics was asking him. And I also respected the fact that NLE, he ain't never shied away of any of the questions. Like he answered it straight up. And even with the fan altercation, he kept it straight up. Like he didn't sound biased when he was giving an answer or something. He was saying it from a real perspective. Cause after I listened to what he said, I went back to the video and like what he said and what the video shows, it matched up. And with the altercation, with the fan that's what i really want to touch on first because originally a lot of people thought this was a young boy fan that was fighting nle you know all the blog sites were going with that saying that young boy fans fight nle but when nle tells the story it's just a random fan that was wanting a picture or something or just kept asking if he was nle but it wasn't until after the altercation until another fan came up screaming 4k trade claiming that they was young boys fans that's when the whole situation got misconstrued and like i just said i respect nle for having an open mind about this he wasn't saying it like he beat the dude up or something like the only thing that was really skeptical about the video is that nobody is with NLE because when I first saw him I'm thinking like why is NLE by herself in the airports like no way somebody that big should be alone in public by themselves and for that fan he's lucky he was in the airports because if this was on the streets or something he would have got demolished or something I ain't gonna lie or in the worst case he could have got shot at or something that dude he was just lucky to be at the right place at the right time or something because I guarantee you if he run up on any other street rapper like that not even street rapper, just rapping in general. A situation like that will never happen again. And that's a clear reason why that these rappers be having like 30 people walking around them and their entourage and all that. Because if they don't, look what just happened to NLE. That's going to happen to them more than likely, especially if you a street rapper. And that might not be a fan just walking up wanting to fade. It might be a fan just walking up with a gun or something. But I also want to touch on the pick a side situation too that NLE was talking about. Because a lot of people, including me, was like on his neck. Well, I wasn't really on his neck, but I was like kind of criticizing him saying that why he jumped in the conversation. Because it really wasn't his beef but but like i said he gave more insight to this he wasn't just talking just because you gotta remember Annalie and King Von, they had a real relationship. And Annalie, he elaborated more in a video too with academics that they actually had a real relationship outside of the industry. Like, they would just hang out on regular occasions, play 2K, smoke, or anything, just hang out just cuz. So he saw King Von and them as like genuine people or genuine friends in the industry. He didn't just see them as rap friends or anything. And you also gotta remember that he had a relationship with his nephew too. And to keep it a buck, I don't blame Annalie, cuz like he said earlier, imagine like you friends with somebody and they passed away, and it's another dude that don't got nothing to do with the situation talking about it talking down on him and he not really here to defend himself and i couldn't agree with Annalie more too because like we know who y'all talking about when he's saying he don't got nothing to do with the situation that he wasn't there he was talking about nba young boy and Annalie, he's right to say that because young boy wasn't there but you know a lot of his fans ain't trying to hear that they're just gonna defend him just because he's young boy and i'm gonna also give Annalie his credit too like dude like i just said like this dude was so genuine in this interview this is probably like my favorite interview academics did with a rapper because you could just tell like Annalie, he was being so genuine like he was giving the most honest questions like because even when academics asking about the young boy this when young boy called him like he was his number one fan or something and Ali, he admitted like yeah he offended him like he grew up listening to him and all that because i don't think a lot of people realize how young and Ali is but that's a young dude he only like 19 but yeah he was saying like yeah he offended him like he grew up just listening to the young boy and he still offended him but his main reason why he jumped in is because he felt like he had a relationship with king von he feel like he can't sit there and let him just talk down on the dude who can't defend himself and i a thousand percent respect that too and he was talking about how to keep Lil Durk from going back and forth with NBA Youngboy. And this is way before Youngboy started dissing King Von or any of them. But this go to show you right here that in Ali, he has growth even at a super young age. Because the way he carried himself, especially when he first blew up, like you weren't expecting him to show maturity like that in a short amount of time. But he really has, especially in this interview, he presented himself in like a, a good way. So shout out to in Ali Chop and I appreciate academics for this interview. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. And have a nice day.